Tunic was first announced at E3 2018 during the Xbox press briefing and it immediately stood out thanks to its simple yet elegant art style, charming Fox protagonist and nostalgic Zelda-esque gameplay. Few details have been shared about the project since then, outside of the odd appearance at an inside Xbox or indie showcase. However, anticipation for the game is still high. In fact, it seems like each time it's shown off we are reminded of the excitement that the initial reveal instilled in us, but also left with a sense of emptiness as we ask ourselves, when will we finally get to play it? While there's still no solid release date at this time, the developer quietly dropped a short playable demo on Steam that, under normal circumstances, would have been presented at the show floors of E3 and Gamescom this summer. The demo is a short snippet of the beginning of the game. It begins with the player wagging up on the coast, with no clear objective other than to follow the path laid out and begin exploring. After acquiring your first weapon in a cave, very reminiscent of a Zelda cliché, you can begin hagging and slashing your way through enemies and advance further. Nothing explicitly tells the player how to progress through the game, and signposts written in a cryptic unknown language encourage players to use their imagination and pursue their curiosities. Picking around corners or backtracking after acquiring a new weapon rewards players by unlocking new areas and discovering hidden treasures. Unfortunately, in this demo there is a limit to how much players can explore, as barriers are placed around the map to stop players going too far. It's not clear whether these are a temporary addition from the developers for this demo, or if they are part of the final game and the player must become stronger first in order to bypass them. Either way, it's a bit disheartening to know that there is more to see and do if you could just get past that blasted construction sign. The enemies you fight are fairly simplistic to start off with, repeating predictable patterns and not posing much of a threat as you get to grips with the combat mechanics, consisting mainly of slashing your sword, blocking with your shield and dodge rolling away from enemy attacks. I was impressed that throughout such a short snippet of the game that there was a surprising variety of enemy types that showed potential for exciting combat encounters. For example, a spider that backs away to lure you into a false sense of security, or gunslinging witch doctors who transform into skeleton warriors after draining their health bar. Not that there was anything that couldn't be solved with a good old fashioned backing enemies into a corner and mashing the X button. However, there was enough potential here to signal some more challenging and compelling encounters down the line. It should be noted that this game is primarily being developed by one person, that being Canadian independent Andrew Schuldice, which is the primary reason the release date always seems a ways off. Even during this demo it was clear that there is still a bit of polish needed. During my first playthrough, the controls seemed to take on a mind of their own to where it was almost unplayable. Thankfully, this issue disappeared after a quick restart. While travelling in and out of rooms, the lighting transitions are a little jarring and there are a few animations that just feel unfinished. This is all made clear though from the offset, as it's worth reiterating that this demo was designed for show floors which are always notoriously buggy, and I'm sure the developer fully intends to hammer these out before the final release. The question remains though, when will we be able to fully explore all that Tunic has to offer? On a recent AMA, Shuldice explained some of the challenges involved with a project of this scale. One of the things people ask is, what's the hardest part of development? And honestly, it's content. That's the broadest way to put it I suppose. Making sure that everything you see and do in the game is going to fill you with some kind of wonder and delight. Making sure it's quality stuff and not just copy pasted. Making sure that everything feels good and has the right balance. That fine tuning is the most time consuming, but I think the most worth it. The developer was also hesitant to kneel down a release window, so the answer to our looming question seems to be not anytime soon. However, it felt amazing to finally be able to get my hands on the game. It felt real and tangible and most importantly fun. Perhaps even more important though is that it will give the development more time to make sure that the final product lives up to the hype. My name is Finn and if you enjoyed this preview of Tunic make sure to let us know in the comments so we can keep doing more of these in the future. Be sure to subscribe to not miss any of our future videos and check out our website for even more cool stuff from the Playhouse team. Thanks for watching.